Hey Kingdom family, my name is Candy Nicole. Welcome back to Arise in Glory. This word, I hope it is not all over the place. If so, I do apologize. I hope that you leave with the main messages that might be delivered here. So just now I was sitting at my computer and I was at work and um, a lady called in. She's, uh, she told me she's in California and 80 years old, she works in the entertainment industry. She began telling me her whole life throughout this conversation. This was an hour long conversation, you guys. Um, she told me a lot about herself. She was so long winded that I Googled her. Okay, so <laughs> I had a, a very vast uh, understanding of some things about this woman by the time I hung up with her. But God spoke to me through the conversation with her. After I got out the conversation with her, he spoke to me through some other things. And what God wanted me to come on here and tell you guys is that, um, ain't no need to worry about what tomorrow's going to bring. It'll be all over in the morning. I'm hearing, trouble don't last always. I'm so glad trouble don't last always. So, um, the morning song, I had been hearing that off and on the last few months. And as you know, of course, I would hear it. And the morning will come and I would still might have the same issues laying before me. But trouble don't last always. Situations change. Uh, tides turn. And things are changing. Things are rapidly changing. Um, God has been talking about how he is moving swiftly. And there's going to be swift movements. He's also been talking about judgment uh, for the righteous and the unrighteous. Um, just now today he was talking to me about a few things. This lady is 80 years old. Um, she was talking to me. Basically, she had, if you know anything about FDIC co coverage at a bank, you are not covered more than $250,000 per bank with FDIC insurance. Um, she had like $250,000 plus $500 and something dollars. And she wanted me to move the $500 something dollars to another account. And it ended up being a very long conversation. And she expressed to me that she had fear regarding the money and the government and the things that are going on with the government. And honestly, you guys, I don't know what's going on with the government, but I do know what God has warned me of in the past. Um, like things like cashless society and all that. I have seen that before where it has just been digital. God has shown me that in dreams about two years ago quite possibly um where there's going to be a time when it is going to be just digital money that we will be operating in and she expressed to me like she had some gold being delivered to her today um some fears that she have about this happening soon um there'll be some soon changes and i don't know what god has been putting on any of your hearts to do and this is not a fear type of thing but at some point in time, everything that God has sent the prophets to tell you about, it will happen. And all I can say is prepare yourself the best way that you can for whatever may be coming. I wouldn't say to fear it. And the reason why I would tell you not to fear it is because whenever God started giving me dreams, it was literally about end times, about the things to come before the end would come. Okay. And when I first started delivering these videos if you were with me back then I thought I was the Jeremiah prophet because all I was having was end time dreams and I was telling people repent repent and you should repent okay repent but not only that God was showing me food shortages and things of that nature um I had went out and bought a ridiculous amount of things um a ridiculous amount of things okay I had bought rice, um, I had buckets of rice, the containers, you, you, you buy the, the sealing things, the conceal the containers, and I had everything. Can good stack cup high. And the other day I was just thinking like, what made me think that God would not provide for me during those times? Because he has showed me in dreams also, him providing for me in those times. And I want to let you know that God will provide for you in those times. One thing the lady expressed to me is that she had no family left except one nephew. That she doesn't basically talk to anymore, right? 
and she was expressing to me also her fear of losing her money um not knowing what to do at her age and i was just like confused um of why she was so fearful and one scripture that came to my mind you know god literally brought back to me was the scripture where he talks about i did a screenshot because right before i came here it's like they both came through me um it says not to lay yourself up treasures in heaven i mean lay yourself up treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroys and where the thieves do not break in or steal like we can stack up food ceiling high you guys but rats can get to them all these other things could get to your food uh people can come in and steal your food um if you're stacking up money here on earth you could have the same fear as this woman is that all your money will be taken away she was like life's not too fun when you don't have money and i'm like thinking yeah <laughs> it's not really <laughs> it's a little rough when you don't have funds um but i didn't understand part of our conversation i was trying to get on the phone with her okay because she was very long-winded and i said well i hope your day gets better and better and she said well I I really what I need is my life to get better and better and I thought to myself through our whole conversation things she expressed to me she expressed to me she's 80 years old she has no family she's by herself she don't know when she gonna go out but she worried about her whole expansive life she's worried about tomorrow which might not present itself instead of just trying to worry about today and a lot of times God even says in here, he already knows your needs before you need, like before you can even think about it, he already knows what you need. I have not been on YouTube very much, um, but that's this one particular prophet. I'm not going to say his name, but God has showed me that that is his son. And one thing he has been talking about lately is every time it seems like every time I do get on YouTube, I see him pop up like he's maybe just done a live or something and he's been talking about food shortages and the things to come and I don't disagree with him I will leave it at that um, there's some things that's been said to me and some of my dreams lately it's coming back around again um, that it's being mentioned again that there is going to be a time of less than but at the same time God has let me know that something this particular prophet has said also i have seen it in my dreams is that we are going to be in a very fruitful season um god has showed it to a friend of mine also regarding me a dream he gave them about fruits um i've even seen like fruits hanging from my hair in a dream sounds crazy but god continues to um not just for me this is not just for me I'm just relaying to you what I've seen in my dreams, but this is not about me. This is not about me. It's about you, his children. This is going to be a fruitful season for many of his children. He's going to increase you so you can increase in others. And I'm talking about finances, okay? He's going to be increasing many of you so you can sow back into the kingdom and increase others with what he has given to you. Um, What else God told me? Oh. These weather things, this is intentional. Um, not intentional like, it's intentional with God, okay? It's intentional. And what I mean by that is, um, what's the other verse you gave me, Jesus? Um, okay, this is about the weather. He gave me Jeremiah 11, 11. He said, um, I will bring disaster upon them, is what I was hearing. I will bring disaster upon them. And it says, in Jeremiah 11, 11, Therefore, this is what the Lord says. I will bring on them disaster. They cannot escape. Although they cry out to me, I will not listen to them. So the lady that was on the phone when she lives in California, she expressed to me how they had just had these tornado-like winds flooding the hurricane situation that went towards California and how they were dealing with that. And in the midst of dealing with that, and that's scary for them, there was also an earthquake. So me being from Louisiana, I know how it is to go through a hurricane. It can be scary. We probably not really all that scared anymore. <laughs> but I can I imagined the ground shaking as a hurricane is going on. And that is insane, right? And so I was talking to God after the conversation and I was talking to God about the conversation. 
and he let me know he said that I will bring disaster upon them and I went on Facebook I was scrolling and I saw a post the lady posted about um the hot the fires in Hawaii and how Oprah had purchased land there like a 360 acres or 380 acres in that area around March okay and she was saying well hmm isn't that odd and I was talking to God about it and God let me know God started saying um I start hearing after I read the post I start hearing burn it away burn it up burn it up I was like huh I was hearing burn it away anything that's not like you I wanna be made new so this is judgment that we are seeing these hot weather patterns these odd situations where there are hurricanes and different things in the weather that's going on in places that um normally don't see this we will be seeing more of this god brought me back to some things he showed me in the past that there will be a time where you see things happening in places it's odd it doesn't belong there you're going to see more of that um i think that's all i had to tell you guys I know you're having a good day because you're claiming your day. Don't be like that woman worried about what tomorrow's going to bring. It's going to bring whatever it's going to bring. Make the best of right now, today. Control what you can, can, can control in your situation. Do what you can do about what you can do about it, okay? And what you can't, leave it at God's feet. Stop worrying yourself about things you can't change. You can't. You don't have no control of the weather. You don't have no control of the government. Uh, what you have control over, ride that out. The rest, leave it in God's hands. Nothing is impossible for him. It doesn't matter what is coming upon this earth. God already knew it. And he already has made provisions for you in whatever situation is about to come through. Y'all have a good day. Bye.